Now that you have the Oracle software installed, within the Oracle home where you installed, execute .orienv, give a database name, copy the path where the Oracle home is installed and paste it for the Oracle home prompt. And let's check the status of the listener. There is no listener created by default. Use net manager to expand the local option. Click on listeners, no listener. So click plus and accept the default. By default, you can accept the default properties that is given. File, save to save this configuration and close the window. Now let's start the listener. The listener is started. You can check its status at any time with this command, with the status command. And now let us invoke DBCA, Database Configuration Assistant. It might take a while to bring up the DBCA window. And once it comes up, you might want to wait a few seconds for the page to refresh and come up with the default options that is there for the database creation. Choose the default create database, go to next. We will use the typical configuration here. Give the name of the database that you want. I have here given CDB. You need to specify a password. There are specifics about what is a recommended secure password. But you can give one of your choice, maybe learn underscore with underscore RAM. It might prompt that if it is not as per the security settings, you can ignore it if you're not really bothered. And give a name for a pluggable database you want. I'll give PDB1. And once that is specified, I click next. It prompts for the security settings of the password. I'm okay with whatever I've given. Not recommended in a production box though. And it's going to validate the storage settings, whether it is able to write and come to this window where you can click finish after going through the default settings that has come. This is a simple way to create a database. The database creation assistant will take a while to create. I have, as usual, made a forward of the installation. So it should come to the summary page pretty fast than it would on your computer. Look into the details that is given. These are the details about the CDB that is created. Make a note of it. We will use it later. Now let's check the status of the database. I'm using a Linux command to check the process pmon. It is available. This is one way to validate whether the instance is running. Next, check the status of the listener. We see that the listener is now listening for the CDB instance and the PDB1 service. 